just before you rule off, I want you to go back to where you've written these questions, and I actually want you to highlight something for me. Question two, right? See all these guys down here? The thing that they share in common is uh, these things in the brackets, okay? These guys here, right? Now, we call these things all the same name because they're all, inside the brackets, a pair of terms, right? And you know when you've got a, um, a vehicle which has two wheels, what do you call that? You call it a you call it a bicycle, right? If it's got a motor on it, then you call it a motorbike. Now this has two not wheels but two terms. So we call these things this thing, this thing, and this thing. Okay, they're not bicycles. They're binomials, okay? All it means is, this, um, this term along the end here, this word suffix, nomial, uh, it comes from the word that just means term. So you know these are algebraic terms. Um, binomial just means you got two of them. Um, if you had more, you'd call it a polynomial, because poly means many, right? Lots and lots and lots, any number more than two, okay? Now uh, these binomials are what we're going to focus on in this lesson, which is why I stuck these into the review questions. So the heading I'd like you to make underneath all of your review questions is... So this is, can you see the binomial part of this question, right? The binomial part is the bit with two terms in it, which is here. That's a binomial. And we're about to expand it. So it's a binomial expansion. Just like before, like with these questions over here, the brackets just mean, okay, whatever you've got out here, which is actually multiplication, right? just do it to everything inside. Just do it to everything. So root 3 times 5, how would you write that? 5 root 3. So far, so good. What about these? You know some third laws now of how to deal with these, right? Rather than 2, I can combine them into one third, which is 6. That's it, that was not complicated, was it? Okay, but it starts to get trickier pretty quickly. So, example two. Okay, so I haven't made it a lot more complicated but just enough that maybe you're looking at that and you're wincing a little bit, okay? That's all right, take your time. I can deal with this just the same way I did before. Maybe you will find it helpful, like I often do, to mentally remind myself that this guy gets <clears throat> multiplied by everything inside, so I do it like this. There's the first multiplication, and then here is the second multiplication. I actually draw those in so I know what I'm doing, right? So let's just deal with the first one. 4 root 7 times 5 root 2. Probably the easiest way is deal with these guys first, the whole numbers, and then deal with the thirds. Okay? So, 4 by 5. 20. Root 7 times root 2. Root 14. So this is the first part. And then we're on to the second pairing. 4 root 7 times minus root 7. Watch out for that sign. So what am I going to get? Hmm. So the first thing is definitely a minus, right? The root 7 times root 7 will become just 7. So 4 times 7 will be 28. You okay with that? Think about it. Let me pull this out separately in case you're a bit confused, right? Here and here. If all I gave you as a question was this, I'll just make it positive for now. Okay? Again, just like I did with this guy, like you guys were okay with 20 root 14, right? You guys were okay with that? Yeah. Root 7 is kind of, you could write it as 1 root 7. I mean, that's a bit redundant. You don't have to, but it's true, isn't it? Root 7 is 1 root 7. Well, I'm going to do it just like I did before. I'll do my whole numbers first, 4 times 1. And then I'll do my thirds next. Well, root 7, like what it is, is the number that you multiply by itself to give you 7. So that part just becomes 7. It's a little bit weird, but remember, you can combine thirds together, and what you get might not end up being a third. And that's 28. Okay? There I have it.
Make sense? So far so good? Okay, let me give you a harder one. This will be the last one I do right now. Maybe, we'll see how we go. Okay, so we're ramping it up a little bit. Now, remember I showed you before, these arrows, you might like to find them useful, just so you make sure you don't forget any terms. Well, as your questions become more difficult, those arrows become all the more useful. So let me make myself a little bit of space. Don't quite need this anymore. Have a look at this. This question, as messy as it looks, is directly parallel to this question. See that? Watch, I'll show you how they're the same. C squared plus 7C, it came from here. First pair, second pair. Do you see C squared and 7C? What about these guys? Where'd they come from? 7C and 7. 7C and 7.7s. Seven Do you agree? Now exactly the same thing is happening here, it's just you've got thirds, that's all. So I'm going to draw my arrows so I can see what I'm doing. 4 is going to get multiplied here and here. And then minus root 3 is going to get multiplied here and here. Is that okay? So. Watch, let's do this one step at a time. In fact, just to make it even more obvious, I'll use these colors so you can see which pairs are which. Four times two root three. Deal with the whole numbers first. Four by two is? Eight. eight. Are there any other square roots flying around? Nine. Not there. So it's just eight root three. Okay, that's the first one. Four times one. Nice, okay. <laughs> That one's not so hard. I've dealt with my red pairs. Do you see that? Now I move on to my orange ones down here. Okay, this one's a bit trickier. Minus root 3 times 2 root 3. Hmm. Deal with your whole numbers. What are your whole numbers? You've got a minus 1 and a 2. Do you agree? So therefore it'll be minus 2. Then you deal with your thirds. Root 3 times root 3. Six. Three. Root 3 times three. root 3, three. is just nice. 3. three. Right? It's just 3. <coughs> so I've got minus 2, then I've got 3, that's minus 6. Are you okay? It is minus 6 once you put it all together. Last bit. Minus root 3 times 1. <coughs> minus root 3. Okay. Well done. So now I've done the expansion, but I should tidy this up. I should. I can write this a lot better. Have a look, which are the like terms? A root 3 and? Minus root 3, so how many root 3 is by the end? 7. Seven. Excellent. Then you deal with your whole numbers. Minus Plus 4 minus 6, minus, minus, six. minus 2. And you're home. Okay? So there's a bit of mental effort involved to unpack what's happening here. But you guys can manage it. 